Hello, my name is John Zmickley, and today I'm going to be talking about using iMovie. Um, this particularly is iMovie 10. Um, it's the newest version of iMovie that Apple has put out. Um, it comes free with any new Mac, um, and it also, um, if you want to buy it in the App Store, I believe it costs about $15 or so. It comes with the iLife 11 um, suite. And so um, this is Apple's proprietary video editing software. It's really great, um, especially for quick videos. Um, it, you can't do um, a lot of really robust things with it, but um, it's, re again, really great for the quick videos and, um, and things that we'll definitely that we'll do in, in this class. So this here is the kind of main screen that you're going to see in iMovie. Um, on the left, you're going to see... A, uh, by the way, it's down here. Um, it's 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 purple looking, <laughs> um, depending on what version of of, of Mac that you have. Um, it'll probably show up in the dock, but you can see it's a purple star. Um, and this is different from the. If you see a gold star, you know that you're using a different version of iMovie, which is not this version. So uh, make sure it's the purple one. And um, when you start it, you're probably going to see this screen that says new movie um, and these are different themes that you could create um, I'm just not going to go with the theme I'm just going to go ahead and click create and I'm going to call this um, interview and you can call it whatever you want to call it um, and it's going to put all of our images and, and video into a bin or, or an event and um, and I've called that internship and it's because this is an internship interview um, and so I'm going to go ahead and, and create that. So I'm working within a project, and the project is called Interview, but um, these events over here on the left um, allow you to put different, kind of classify your videos into different um, kind of bins, if you want to call them that. Um, and so I'm just going to have one bin. I'm going to call it Internship. If you had different events, um, you might, uh, maybe if you were covering South by Southwest for uh, five different days, you might have five different events um, each day would be a different event and then if you want to do a recap video you can go into each one of those um, events to pull the exact videos that you wanted that would just be one example of, of one way you could use these events um, but I, I just have one event it's called internship and I'm going to use a video that I've already created it's over here on my desktop there's lots of different ways to uh, import your media and one way is to just to click here and then to navigate and find it on your desktop um, or wherever it might be on a flash drive. Um, I'm simply going to grab it from my desktop and drag it right in. And it's, pr it's pretty good with being able to just import those things right away. You see this is an interview uh, that I got. Um, what it did was it imported every single part of that interview. The whole entire video is here on the left and that, that's what we would call our raw clip, our raw video. Um, it's uncut, it's um, just the full-fledged video. Down here on the bottom is the timeline, and that's where I'm going to be dragging my videos into once I've edited them. And then over here on the right is my preview screen, and this is where I can not only preview what I'm looking at um, before I put it in, but I can also preview my movie once I've made it. Um, I can also add, you can see these grayed out um, options up here. You can add some video effects and things like that to your video as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over my, my interview. And um, there's really no play button. Um, you actually have to press the space bar in order to play the video. So I'm going to go ahead and press play with the space bar. Okay. Um, well, I started at the University Star last February, so it's been about... A little over a year since I okay, so you can hear that his his video um, goes through right when I press the space bar, and then I can press the space bar to stop Sorry, playing. So and what I'm doing when I hover over his clip is that's called scrubbing. I'm kind of looking and, and listening to see if I can find just the right clip that I want to put into my video. So this is a 10 minute long interview. Um, I obviously don't want to put it all into my video, um, but I do want to put pieces of it. So I'm just going to hover over here and find a good spot where I could hear a good sound clip. All right. Um, learning how to carry myself in front of people. Um, and then my newest internship, I've been there for two or three months now, two months. It's uh, in Austin at the State Bureau, or the Capitol Bureau. Um, 
government and state politics for the Houston Chronicle and the San Antonio Express. Okay. Okay. So that was him talking about his newest internship. And if I just wanted that piece of the interview, I would literally click and drag. You can see as I click and drag over the clip, it's creating a yellow box around uh, the piece that I'm selecting. So now when I unclick it, you'll see that it has been selected. Now I want to play it again to make sure that I got the right in point and out point here. So I'm going to hover over before the yellow clip starts and I want to make sure it's coming in at the right time. So I'm going to press the space bar. And then my newest internship. I want to start where it says my newest internship. So I'm going to go right here. And then my newest internship. Yep, that's good. And then I want it to end where he stops talking. Okay. And there it is. Okay. And I don't want me saying okay. Okay. So I got it. This is basically him saying that one clip of that he is um, where his internship is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And when I do so, you'll see this little plus sign. And it says that it adds that selection to the movie. So when I press that, you can see that it jumped down here. And now I've got that isolated clip that has been sent down to my timeline and up here you can see that it's orange you can see that orange line that means it's been used that way I don't reuse the same clip over and over again now I'm going to go ahead and press play or with my space bar okay it worked out well now if you found out down here that you oh you messed up maybe you wanted let me try the, the end here see how it sounds Okay, um, if you found out you cut off too much or too little, you can always click down here and extend these out a little bit. You can see these toggle bars have, have come up and I can make it longer or shorter. Now there's a lot that you can do with iMovie in terms of um, once you've clipped it together. I'm not going to use a whole lot of uh, different clips here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing what I did. I don't want to necessarily... Um, take too long to figure out which pieces of the interview I'm going to use, but you can see if I had found one, two, three different pieces of the interview, I could put them there. Um, 